just have a cup of coffee, then I'll go. So welcome back to Coffee Time. Coffee Time is my opportunity to sit down and talk about a handful of topics, uh, updates on what I'm doing, or just thoughts I've had, or responding to uh, one or two inquiries. It's, uh, it's different than a, a mail time, for example. Of the videos that I do, Coffee Time tends to be a pretty popular segment, uh, and, uh, and I like doing them. So today I've got six or seven basic items that are that I want to cover. First of all, the heat wave. Now I talk all the time about you know the temperatures on average 72 degrees and it's usually very nice and always a cool breeze and that's what it is today, it's what it was yesterday. But two times in the past month, month and a half we've had these little heat waves. Now the first one was about, I think it was a couple days long and it was no big deal, but in the afternoon it got pretty toasty. And when you're out walking, you can actually, you know, break a sweat. Not terrible, but it was getting up to 82, 83 degrees. This past week for, I don't know, maybe five, even six days, it got somewhere around 86 degrees i'm not sure exactly but it was pretty warm and uh, the breeze died down there was still a breeze but it wasn't real strong and so in the afternoon i just didn't go out i didn't go out and walk around i didn't i didn't do a lot everybody i know here local people people that are from here they were all talking about the heat wave the first thing that would come up is don't you just hate this heat and I'm not a fan of it. Now, it didn't get so hot. Actually, I'm from upstate New York, and in, in the summertime in upstate New York, it's not unusual to get up to 100 degrees. So 86 probably isn't anything I should really complain about. It was just so out of character. It was so unusual. In Pareda, that wouldn't be that far out of the norm, but here it was really quite a surprise. And all I kept thinking is, uh, my friend in Manizales was always telling me, it's too hot there, it's too hot there. And it never is too hot here, but during those days, it's, I just kept thinking about that. Now the upside is, all the girls come out with their skimpy clothes, so that, you know, that was fun. Next thing is, uh, I did that video on Salento, not my first one, second or third video in Salento. I don't imagine I'll be doing another one. Nice little town. It's a great place to visit. It, it's a tourist place, but tourist places can be fun, and I like it. Um, it's a very meaningful place for people here, tourists or no tourists. Um, and tourist means dollars, so that's always a plus. I enjoyed doing that video, and I got a lot of compliments on the video, and. I had two people, one emailed and one put a, a comment saying that it was the best video I've done. Well, I don't know. I don't even do good videos, but, but I appreciate that. And I did enjoy making that video. It was kind of a new format for me. I was able to use some of the features with the stabilizer. I'm still learning that. Uh, so it was a fun video and I'm glad you came along. I. I'm surprised that it didn't have that many views. I mean, it's not bad, but it's they're slow to come, so it surprised me. But um, but I like the video and I like doing it. Now I had a another gringo meet a nice gentleman from the U.S. who came here to kind of check it out for possibly living here in the future. So we talked for a couple hours. We talked about some things that I can't even talk about on camera. Uh, nice guy, I didn't wish him well. I think he leaves soon. Um, but Gary, it was nice meeting you. I do meet with people um, now and then, uh, not always, but when I can, I do. And I've got something at the end of this video I wanna mention about that. Now, 
I told everybody I was going back to Cuenca. Well, I can't. Something came up. I, I couldn't go to Cuenca, but the papers I have to sign, they're going to send them to me, and then I send back DHL, so I didn't really have to go anyway. There are people there that I really do miss. I really do want to go see. Just as impossible now. I, now it appears pot, maybe in March. So we'll see. I'll keep you informed. Didn't mean to mislead you. I had every intention of going. Now this comes from a, a Facebook comment and a comment I had on one of my videos. Two different people with a similar theme that said something about people that are going to Ecuador or they're going to uh, Colombia. They're basically they're going out to pasture. They're moving to go someplace to just sit and watch their life trickle by until they die. Wow. First of all, I don't know anybody like that. I really don't. And there probably are a few maybe, but I don't know anybody like that. Well, what I actually see are people that might feel that way back where they come from, be it from friends and family, I don't know, but come here really to live another life, to find that energy and zest for life and curiosity and adventure that maybe wasn't available to them or lost along the way, they lost touch with. And that seems to be the primary drive to the people that I've met that are in Ecuador or Colombia. It's, a, it's like a revitalization. Now, you all know my story. If you don't, it's, it's, all, in the, it's all in the videos now. It all, I came clean on everything about why I moved from the United States, my illness, my recovery, and why I chose to be out of the U.S. to do that. It's all there. But I can tell you that, um, particularly since I've come to Colombia, I'm up out of the high altitude, it's been five or six years since I've had the kind of energy that I have here. I've noticed uh, uh, comments I'm getting from people that have watched my videos for some time. They say, you're looking really good. You're looking really healthy. You look like you have energy. you got color in your cheeks. Well, I'm out walking a lot and the color in my cheeks is from the sun. But yeah, I actually, I feel that way except for being alone. And I'm working to correct that. And I'll tell you some of that. But except for being alone, I have to say that my life is kind of in a perfect place. Uh, there's a few things I need to overcome. I mean, life is what it is, but I love being here. I have no reservations about it whatsoever. I hope you find the same thing. Life is great whether you're traveling or you find a place that just feels like home. And I have to say that being here, I feel like I'm home. And related to that is financial success versus life. There were two times in my life when you could probably have categorized me as being rich. I mean, if being rich means you own a couple houses and you own four new cars and a new pickup truck and you're going to Disney World a couple times a year because you've got annual passes and you're never concerned about do you have enough to pay your bills and if you want something you just buy it. Um, if that's rich, yeah, I've lived that. But I also worked day and night, which has been my life story. I've always worked a lot. A workaholic had a fair amount of OCD, all of this up until I got sick. And everything changed. And my financial system, of course, changed because I was no longer able to work. And so there was adjustment there. And not being able to work drove me crazy for a while. I mean, there was a time when, you know, I was bedroom for a couple of years that I didn't even want to live anymore. So, you know, our life can take a lot of turns that we don't expect. I can tell you this, and you've heard it many times before, and I'm, and I'm just going to repeat it. Money isn't everything. It was nice 
in those situations to not worry about those things, but there are other things to worry about. Buddhism says that if you want to be happy, then you don't have attachments. And there's a lot of truth in that, be it personal attachments, which can give you supreme misery and heartache if it takes a wrong turn. Ask anybody who's been through a nasty divorce or has lost a child or a family member. I mean, the, the pain around those things are, it, it's severe and it alters us. Now, the question is, would you sacrifice the relationships that you had in order to avoid the pain? And personally, no, I mean, you gotta take the good with the bad. It's what life is. But here in Colombia and Ecuador, you have the opportunity because of the, an exchange rate, you have the opportunity to live a good life on less money. But does that make the life? Does that mean that you're gonna be happy here? If your costs are a third of what they would be wherever you're living now outside of these countries, does that mean that that's the reason to be here? And I've said this before, I say it again. No, that's not good enough reason. If it were strictly a matter of survival, it would be something to consider, but it's still not an automatic reason. Life is much more than that, and decisions made on that are usually not going to bear up well. Life for the sake of living seems to be more what it's about. One of the reasons I love Colombia is they live for today. That's why they're constantly, they'll dance in the streets, they'll party, they're always smiling. Uh, they're very friendly, they're, they'll bring people in because they're living for the moment. It doesn't mean they're not planning for their future, but they don't sacrifice their future for living for today. And I really admire that. It's one of the reasons that maybe I feel at home here. Maybe it feels very comfortable to me. Now, having said all that, I do have to make a few changes, and I've alluded to this because I've been trying to find other ways around it, but I've got to do something. So my videos are not going to change, fortunately or unfortunately. I'm still going to make these videos. They're still going to get posted up on YouTube. You'll still be able to see them. They're not hidden behind a curtain. But I am going to work harder for things such as sponsorship and for contributions because the truth of it is where I am at my life at this particular moment I just can't afford to keep the channel going and there are people that are keeping it going for me it's the reason I still exist is the people that are helping me keep this channel going so I have to spend a little more time doing that so I can put good videos out on a regular basis so Part of this video, instead of just being a hobby, part of it will become a bit of a business. I've worked against that when I didn't need to. It was never even a consideration, but today it is. That doesn't change you as a viewer. You're still gonna have the videos, you can still watch them. But I will uh, look for people that want to support the channel, give it some help. There's three ways I'm gonna do that. The ability to contribute that I've set up, I'll be looking you know, for that to, to grow. Uh, second of all, I'm considering sponsorships. I'll be talking to somebody next month. I'll be very particular about that. I think I found one that would be a good fit for this channel. Um, and I think it would actually be a bonus for people watching. So I'll see what I can do with that. If that doesn't happen, I'm gonna look for something else. And the third thing is, um, as some of you that know me by now know that uh, I supplemented my income for a number of years doing consultancy work on the internet. Well, that's no longer possible for varied reasons, which I've also covered, but I can do consultancy work about moving, traveling, the kinds of things that I've done. And it's been suggested to me time and again for about a year and a half. And I haven't done it, but I'm going to begin to do that. 
uh, it's going to be a regular service available. In the comment section below this video, if you're on TV, you're going to have to go to a laptop or your phone and go to the video and then open the comment section. And you'll find all kinds of information. Uh, you'll find information about Booking.com and Airbnb. It, by the way, um, they don't sponsor me, but I use those on a regular basis. And after you use them for a period of time, you get a link where uh, they will give a new subscriber $20 credit and they send me a $20 credit. So those are both there. If you haven't used either one of those, but you plan to, sign up, use the link below. We both pick up 20 bucks, hey, that's great. But I will begin probably in a week or so with information about how to set up some consultancy about moving here, or even particular information requests then in the past, it's like, I'm just not going to go chase that down. Well, if you're contributing in such a way as to hire me as a consultant, guess what? I'll be your legs. I'll go chase it down. I'll get the information and get it back to you. So it won't alter the videos, but you will have a person on the ground firsthand to be able to do that. And as part of that, if you decide to come and visit, here or somewhere within reason I can meet you and guide you through set up guides whatever it is you need that's something we can discuss so I'm going to do that so those three things are what I hope to fill in the income that I no longer have the income that kind of evaporated on me so uh, fingers crossed we can do that to everyone that has been supporting this channel and whatever method, I, I greatly appreciate it. There's a handful of you that you are the reason that I continue to do this and that I keep working to try to make them better. There has been, as happens from time to time, there's been some pauses in mm, 10 days or so from the last video and there was a gap prior it's because things on this end I just can't avoid it. It's not I'm losing interest. It's not that um, I'm trying to get away from it. It has nothing to do with that. I actually have more interest in doing this than ever before. But life comes along and there's certain things I just have to take care of and I can't just buy my way away from things you know, anymore. So um, you're not forgotten. The video that was going to come out before this, I haven't been able to complete. It's kind of complicated, but it's a retrospective since I began making videos of some of the key videos along the way. If you haven't been watching me on a regular basis, you might be surprised to know the number of topics that I've covered. And so I'm going to run through those. And I think it'll be a good reference point. There's a lot of good information on these videos. We're up to 320 some odd videos. So that's it for Coffee Time today. Thank you. Check out the comment section. Keep up with your likes. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. If you want notification of these videos, subscription isn't enough anymore on YouTube. You have to actually go down and click the notification bell. And then it'll tell you every time um, I put a video up, you'll see it. You'll be the first ones to jump in and then you can tell me, hey, something messed up, <laughs> which I get now and then. Um, so that's it. Many thanks. I'll see you soon. Para que te diviertas y podamos compartir Ellos dan